Greetings and hello, Chris here with another new exciting tutorial for Brizzy. Today we would I would like to talk about, uh, well you can say, an image hack. So we are going to hack the image element form from Brizzy to make our images a little bit more interesting. So what do I mean with that? Let's have a look what we want to achieve today. We have here three images, all have their own unique forms. And if I'm going to move my mouse over them, you see these images are changing with animations and they change the form. So this is, this is the effect we would like to do today. And as you can see, I'm right now in my Brizzy Cloud account because I always get the question, is this working for cloud too if I'm working in WordPress? So yes, this works in cloud, this works in uh, WordPress, this works in any kind of Brizzy professional. So you need a Brizzy Pro. Um, this will not work in Brizzy Basic, in the free version. So. Let's jump into and create a new project and let's edit that. Since we are working with images today, what we want to do first, we need some image elements. These are our image elements and next thing we need some images. So this one. And this one and let's take this one so these are now our three images we are going to work with today first of all what we want to do is we want to change the shape of our images and to do this, I'm going to use a little tiny tool. It's called Clippy. Um, it's free. I'm going to put the URL to this tool down in the comment section. Um, so you can just uh, click on the link and you're instantly brought to this nice tool. So what does Clippy do? Clippy uh, enables us to change the look of an image, the form of the image. And as you can see, it does this by setting some coordinates with these colorful points. And down here in this dark area, you get a code you can use um, to force your image to look like this. And the interesting thing is that um, you use your overlay color to cover up uh, the hidden parts. So uh, there's no problem. I'm going to show it to you right now. There's no problem if you want to uh, work with a different color than white. So first of all, let's pick some interesting um, form. I'm going to choose this arrow for now. So I'm going to copy this code. Let's take her in the middle. I'm going to the uh, settings, then the more settings and advanced, you see you have these custom CSS for this specific element. And here I'm going to type my code in and you see the image already changed. So what we want to do next, we want to adjust it so we see the face. And now we want to make, uh, to create this mouse over hover effect. So I'm going back into um, Clippy and let's take the right arrow for the other version. I'm going to copy the code from down below back into Brizzy. Again, settings, more settings, advanced. And here in this custom CSS section, we are now typing in element, then these double points and hover. So you see hover changed the color, so uh, everything's all right. And then we put our two brackets. You always need to open and close the brackets and I'm copying the code from uh, Clippy just in. And as you can see now, when my mouse hovers over the image, 
the arrow points in the other direction. And to prove that I haven't been talking nonsense, I'm changing the overlay color, for example, to this mint green. And now you see everything is still working. So maybe you want to have it not this instantly, um, but for example, with a, with a short animation, you can really watch and see. So we can do this too. Go back into more settings, advanced, and into the upper row, we are going to add a transition time. I have the code for this right here, so I don't have to think about it every time. I'm pasting it in. And now you can see we have a little animation. And to make it a little bit more enjoyable, something complex like this, let's pump up the time up to one second. And now you see we have a very nice and smooth transition. So let's play a little bit more with um, our tool here. For example, let's take this cross. It already has uh, my code highlighted, so I'm going to copy it. Jump here into Brizzy, pick our Panda pick, and add my code in. Boom, done. Back into Clippy. I'm moving now these spots to the edges. Down below, my code changed. I'm going to copy it again. Back into Brizzy. More settings, advanced. Element, hover. Our two brackets. And we have our mouse over. And now let's add a transition to it. And there's one thing you need to be careful with the transition animation when you want to work with this. You see this looks really nice. And now I'm going to do something that will not work. So we start, for example, with this frame. Or let's say this circle. and do the same as we did before going into element copying it in already picking my transition code adding it in here too then we make element hover And we close our bracket again, and now let's pick, well, we have the circle. Let's make it a triangle. And I'm copying my triangle code in. And, ooh, it works instantly. There we have our one second transition. Here we have our 0.3 transition, and here we have nothing. So why does this happen? Pretty simple. Um, when you work with the transition, it only works if you have the same amount of key points in the start form and in the finished form. The circle, you can see we have green and this orange, we have two. And in the triangle, we have green, yellow, and orange. Shall we? So we have three. And that doesn't work with um, the animation. So what we would like, uh, what we need to do, for example, we take this triangle, go back in here. Now copy the triangle in here. And now we take these spots and move them to the far end, like this. And then we go 
down here to our target, adding this in, and you see now it works. Now we have our transition. So never forget if you want to work with these animations, um, your start um, form needs to have exact the same points, the, the amount of points as your end form. And with that, well, you can now start to work with your images in Brizzy and create some nice animations. And I hope you enjoy this little hack. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I will see you with the next tutorial.